Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to start a Minecraft 1.8.2 server. But I do want to say this first: this is not a 24-hour server. This server will only be live when your computer is on, when you're running it, and when you're like using your own computer resources. If that's not what you're looking for and you want a server that's up 24 hours a day, that's not using your own computer's resources, that has support more than just like YouTube and your own research and has like a actual someone to contact for support, then go to rkt.us slash apex where you can buy an amazing 24 hour server for just four dollars per month or forty dollars a year depending on how you choose to pay. It's an amazing, amazing server. I love Apex. I use them for all of my personal servers and I've got a few. I recommend them wholeheartedly. Go check them out. RKT.us slash Apex. Amazing 24 hour Minecraft servers. You can even have bucket and modded servers over there, so go check it out. Anyway, guys, if that's not what you're looking for, if you just want a server that's only live when you're, you know, hosting it on your computer using your own computer resources and, and all that stuff, and it uses your own IP, this isn't a server that you want to make public because it's on your own IP and you don't want to give that to people. Then let's go ahead and uh, go on with the tutorial. So what we're going to do is go to minecraft.net slash download right here. Minecraft.net slash download, and as you can see right down here, it says multiplayer server. So if we come over, if you're running Windows and just want to set up a server easily, download Minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot two dot exe. Right there, perfect. Click that. It will now download that server right there. Once that finishes, still not finished. Still not finished. Ah, uh, wait for it. There we go. I think it should, is it finished? Let's see. We will see. It looks to be finished. So there is that. We now have this server downloaded on our desktop. Now what we need to do is create a new folder. So right click, new folder. Ah, come on now. I can't click today. There we go. And I want to name this whatever. You can name this whatever you want. You can literally name it that if you wanted to. But I'm just going to name it, just for ease of use, server 1.8.2. And now what we need to do is take this file right here and drag it into server 1.8.2 or whatever the folder you just created is. So I'm going to do that. Boom. It transfers over. Now we want to open that folder and here it is, right? Minecraft server 1.8.2. Now what we want to do is simply double click on it. Go ahead and click run. I actually always want it to run so I'm going to uncheck this box here and then click run. It will now go through, run the server and generate some files. Now. It's not going to generate everything you need. Why? Because we need to agree to the EULA. So double click on EULA right here. Double click on that. It'll open up in Notepad right here. And we want to go to this link right here. Read the Minecraft EULA. If you agree and this server isn't going to break the EULA, then you can come down here and make it true. But if it is going to break the EULA, then you can't sadly make this server. This server for me is not going to break the EULA. I've already read it. I know it kind of by heart. So um, yeah, I'm fine here. I can change this to EULA equals... T-R-U-E. Boom. Just like that. Now we can go file, save, and we're good to go. We can close out of this and now double click on Minecraft underscore server once again and it will generate the rest of the files we need for the server. We'll also open up this and as you can see back there it is generating the rest of the files. Now what we need to do is come into this box right down here and type S-T-O-P. Stop. Hit enter. And it will close out of this and things like that. While it's doing that, which it will take a second, there we go. Uh, we need to come into server right here and uh, right click on it. Open with. It'll open up this box right here. And we want to double click on notepad. So double click on notepad and there you go. Now, let's go ahead and move this over to the side for a second. While we come up here to the Windows button and then we type in CMD. If you are on Windows 8, you need to do this and right click Run as Administrator. If you're on Windows 7, you can just click Open. I'm going to go ahead and click Run as Administrator just because it doesn't hurt anything. And uh, once we're here, we need to type in IP config. IPCONFIG and hit enter. It'll give us all of this information. And what we're going to be focusing on here is the IPv4 and default gateway. So, what we want to do is actually keep this up. We don't want to close out of this until the end of the tutorial because we're going to be using it over and over and over again. So, IPv4 address, you need to come over here and where it says server IP right there, you need to type whatever your IPv4 address is. In my case, that's 192.168.1.8. Eight, correct? 192.168.1.8. Bam, bam. Okay, so yours will probably be different, by the way. Whatever is right here where it says default or IPv4 address, right here, whatever it says next to this colon, that is what you're going to put. It's probably not 192.168.1.8. It's probably not that. It's probably something completely different. But whatever it is, copy it from here. 
directly over to where it says server IP. No reason to overcomplicate things. If it's not the same as mine, don't freak out. Just copy whatever it says. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click File, Save. You can now close out of this. And we can go ahead and open up our internet browser. Okay, so right here, we want to click on a new tab. Just open a new tab. And what we want to type right up here in the address bar is actually our default gateway, which in my case is 192.168.1.1. So 192.168. Dot one dot one, bam, hit enter. It will now open up for me a login screen that looks like this. For you, it probably won't do that, but don't freak out. It will open up some kind of login screen, right? Some kind of login screen on some of some kind, right? Whatever it is, it'll open up some kind of login screen. If you know that login information, go ahead and enter it. But what if you don't? Well, luckily, the second link in the description down below will take you to this page right here where you can go ahead and find your router password. So for me, let's go ahead and scroll down here. Let's just say we have a Cisco router right here. And then let's say that we have, I don't know, this one right here, right? So Cisco Works 2000, which is actually a corporate router, but nevertheless, admin and Cisco. So that's what it is. As you can see, default username and password. So if we were to enter on this kind of router, admin, and Cisco, it would work. See, admin Cisco, right? Now, what if it says none? If it says none, you leave it empty. Not too crazy there, just leave it empty. Don't put anything in. If it says password, right, right here, if it says password, type in password. So if it's none, like this, you just leave it empty. If it says password, you type in the word password. If it's admin, whatever over here, that's what you type in. But find whatever kind of router you have, and then get the login information, come back over here, enter it, and then click login, and you will be good to go. And now it will open up something that looks exactly like this or completely different, most likely completely different from this. But guess what? That is 100% okay because I'm going to tell you what we're looking for. This isn't too hard. We can do this. So what we want to do is go to advanced, right? You're going to probably find the advanced tab on your router, wherever it's at. For you, it might just be like this. It might be advanced settings. It might be, you know, geek stuff, advanced, whatever it is. Find the advanced settings, the stuff that's not just your general wireless settings. Click advanced. Now what we want to do is go to, on my router, again, advanced setup. For you, you might not go to advanced setup. You might go directly to port forward, apps and gaming, right? You might go to port forward slash port trigger, but what you're looking for here is port forwarding or port forward or apps and gaming. So those are the three things, port forward, port forwarding, or apps and gaming. Those three things, that's what you're looking for. One of those, as you can see for me, it's port forwarding right there. That's what I'm going to click. It is now going to take me to this page where we can port forward. So let's go ahead and click port forward right there. Come down here, and then we want to add a custom service. We're going to click that. It's then going to take us here. We want to name the service. It can You can name this whatever, Minecraft server, Minecraft, whatever it is. I'm going to name it Minecraft, just for ease of use. And then right here, we want the external starting port, 25565. We want to just copy that, so highlight it off, copy it, because that's also going to be our external ending port, so 25565. And then our internal IP address, that's going to be our IPv4 address that we had over here. I said we were going to keep coming back to it. We are. So 192.168.1.8 right there. So that's what we're going to type over here, 192.168.1.8. And we can actually come down here and find it right there if we want to as well and click that. Now, we want to make sure it's TCP slash UD. UDP, right, so TCP slash UDP. If you can only choose one, you want to do this twice, once for UDP and once for TCP. But if you have the TCP slash UDP, that's what we want to go with. Go ahead and click apply, and the hard part is over. That is the hardest part right there about joining and starting or starting a Minecraft server. So guess what? The hard part's over. Now all we need to do is minimize this. I'm actually going to continue to keep that open, and we're going to come over here, and we're actually going to go ahead and start the server. So go ahead and double click on Minecraft underscore server, and now I'm going to go ahead and, I've said go ahead a lot there, sorry about that. I'm going to open up Minecraft now, we're going to launch into 1.8.2, which just released today, and we will be, uh, we'll be good to go. So right here, as you can see, Minecraft 1.8.2 down there, click play. It'll now go through, download some stuff, do some things, and open up Minecraft 1.8.2 where I'm going to join the server in two ways. I'm also going to show you how your friends can join the server. So first off, let's go ahead and make sure it's 
actually running, right? Up and working. So let's go ahead and go into multiplayer. We want to direct connect to the IPv4 address. Again, keep coming back to it right over here. As you can see, 192.168.1.8. So that's what we're going to do here. 192.168.1.8. Right there. Join server. Now, if it joins and locks us in, boom, there you go. Nick, prove it to me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you that this is the server. Well, come over here. As you can see, there it is, Nick's Games. That's me in the game right here. So there you guys have it. Now, can I break a block? Yes, but what if I can't break blocks? I'm the ser owner of this server. What do I do if I want to be able to, like, game mode out and, like, be able to switch to creative and stuff? Because if we try it right now, game mode one, we don't have the permission. Well, how do I get the permission? Come over here and then type in this box right here. OP, and then your Minecraft username. So in my case, that's Nick's Games. For you, it could be OP, blah, 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 whatever your Minecraft username is. OP space your Minecraft username. Hit enter. It will then op you. We can then come over here, and as you can see, it says server op Nick's Games. So now, if we try to go into creative, look at that. We can. Creative is up and running. Now, how do our friends join this server? Well, we need to go ahead and disconnect if that's the case, and we want our friends to join the server. To do that, what we need to do is actually go ahead and get our public IP address. So let's go ahead, open up our web browser, and go to Google Chrome, or, or go to Google, and Google Chrome, or whatever. And uh, right here, we've got Google, so let's go ahead and type in IP. Two, two letters, IP, hit enter, and uh, right here is your public IP address. For me, it's a black box. Because I don't want you guys having my public IP address. You've seen black boxes all over this video, and that's because I don't want you guys getting my network information because you can do some very malicious things with that. Not saying you would, but you could, so I don't want to take the risk. But whatever your public IP address is here, you want to take it and copy it, and then go over to Minecraft, and in multiplayer Minecraft here, you want to go ahead and direct connect, but this time you don't want to go to your public I your local 192.168.1.1. You want to just paste that. And then you want to join. So there you go. It's now logging in. Same server. Same exact server that we were in previously. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Check out Apex Minecraft hosting for an awesome 24-hour server. If this ended up not being what you were looking for, then check out Apex because I bet that will be. I hope you enjoyed. If you want your friends to join, by the way, you give them the public IP address that we just entered, the, the thing that's right over here, blacked out on my screen. That public IP address, the thing we used the second time to join, that's what you give your friends to join your server. Uh, if you have any issues with your friends joining, it's most likely an issue with your fire firewall or theirs, but that is such a case-by-case -case basis. I would recommend going and posting on the Minecraft forum, so minecraftforums.net uh, if you guys want any help with like specific, specific things because there's so much stuff out there, there's no way I will be able to help you with that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching. I'm out, guys. Peace. And there you guys have it. How to start a server in Minecraft 1.8.2. Here's some more videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got what's new in Minecraft 1.8.2. They updated, but what exactly is new in it? Well, there's a ton of stuff, and go check out that video to see exactly what. And down that way, we have texture packs and how to get those in Minecraft 1.8.2. So there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Check out rkt.us slash apex. First link down below. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.